This 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS is powered by the AMG M178 engine, which provides up to 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. This V8 is also the lightest of its competitive segment for the time, weighing in at 460 pounds. Oh, and it's the first sports car engine to use hot inside V and dry sump lubrication. We'll get to that in just a second. AMG built this 4.0 liter bi-turbo engine to maximize both performance and efficiency. Instead of mounting the Borg Warner turbos to the outside of the engine, the M178 cradles the turbos inside its V, which is known as a hot inside V. This allows for a more compact engine that sits lower and optimizes the air supply to the turbos which have a maximum pressure of 17.4 PSI and speed of 186,000 RPMs. The dry sump lubrication also allows that already compact engine to sit 2.2 inches lower in the frame, which also lowers the vehicle's center of gravity. It utilizes a suction pump to extract oil from the engine and deliver it to the oil tank, where it sits for a whole five seconds before being pumped back to the engine. The tank's capacity is 12.8 quarts, and the system actually circulates 9.5 of those quarts. That's a lot of oil. The construction itself has a few neat features, including the use of nano-slide technology in the cylinder bore liners, which makes them harder than traditional cast iron liners. So nano-slide was first developed by Daimler in 2000, and it has been used in a lot of engines since then, including in the Mercedes F1 V6 turbo engine, which started in 2014. The M178 also boasts forged aluminum pistons and a low friction piston ring package. The zirconium alloy cylinder heads improve temperature resistance and conductivity, and the engine uses indirect air slash water intercooling an external engine oil cooler, and aluminum lines for oil and water. All of this is designed, tested, and then built. But it's built on the one man, one engine principle, where the fitter assembles each engine on his own, then signs the engine plate. This engine is in the AMG GTS, GTC, GTR, and Black Series, and it's also been in the Aston Martin Valhalla. Thank you for watching.